Okay, in this video, I want to talk about uh, some custom brackets that I'll probably need to design um, for my 70 Chevelle. Okay, so I'm doing an LS swap and also a T56 Magnum transmission. So what that means is I need to switch out my pedal assembly from auto to manual, right? And I already did that, so I got the, the clutch pedal here and the new brake pedal, so that's all on there. Um, and I'll do a video on that as well, but I'm waiting for the clutch neutral switch, which is on back order. So I'll do that uh, later. Anyway, my car was originally a manual four-wheel drum, okay? I swapped C5 Corvette brake brakes on there. So that's 13 inch up front, 12 in back. Um, and I kept it manual brakes, okay? Knowing that I would go to a power assist at a later time, whether it's vacuum or hydro boost. Actually, I want to do hydro boost, but anyway, some kind of assist to take full advantage of the brakes. Okay, so here's what the manual setup looks like. You basically have a rod that's attached to your pedal and it pushes on the back here, right? Um, so why you'd want to go to a vacuum or hydraulically assisted brake system is to uh, you get you get more force okay which you get an assist and then basically you get higher line pressures more clamping at the calipers and your brakes are better right you also get a lighter uh, pedal okay right now with manual brakes I mean I have to stomp on it hard okay it stops great right now I can lock up the tires if I want but it it's increased force on on the, the pedal okay so here's the problem that I am finding, okay? Um, there seems to be a lack of bracketry on the market for what I'm trying to do. And that is mount my clutch master cylinder here, okay? So this is from Tick Performance. This is this guy you see here. This is made to fit a stock 9802 Camaro, okay? Which most guys are trying to use. So you can either use this or the stocker, but basically it needs to be placed right about here, okay? And this uh, also needs to feed through the stock Z-bar hole location for like an original four-speed car, okay? So there's like a, there's a cutout here uh, that lives right about here, okay? So the goal is to mount that here, okay? Next up, um, I don't know how this would work it probably would work, but um, for a vacuum uh, booster, okay? I think they're, they're tilted up and whatnot, and yeah, I could probably get that to work, but I don't even want to consider vacuum because I'm going to have a big cam or bigger cam, so you, you vacuum is decreased. And then uh, if you could go to Hydro Boost and get more line pressure, the highest line pressure available, uh, that makes sense too. Okay, so here's, here's a Hydro Boost that I picked up, and this is going to go here as well. So I need to figure out how to make both of these guys live in this space, okay? All right, so here's a couple more problems. Uh, this bracket does exist for the master, okay? However, a lot of companies will not sell it individually, okay? And then they have their own style of masters um, that they use, okay? And they, and I asked, I'm like, hey, can you just sell me the bracket? They're like, no, we sell the whole dang kit, okay? Well, I have this master, okay? And it's a 98 to 02. I think it's best to design it for an already existing application because there'll be more parts available. So you can use this aftermarket that fits the 98 to 02 Camaro, or you can use the stocker, okay? This is just a bigger bore, all right? So that's... Issue number one. Issue number two is I have not seen a Hydro Boost and T56 Master combo bracket, if you will. One bracket that does it all. Okay, so that's what I would love to have. Secondly, um, there are companies that make Hydro Boost kits for this car and they are priced like 600 bucks. Okay, and the difference between what I have in my hand here and what you get as a kit, it's like 400 bucks, okay? So this guy here is brand new AC Delco and I bought it for $200. The 
difference being is the bracket and the push rod. Okay, those are easy to solve for $400. Okay, so, so what I've done so far, this is the bracket that came on it. What I did is I cut one of the studs off so I can get in here with a crow foot and bust the nut off. Okay, now when I design one of the brackets, it's going to be a flat plate. That way you can get in here and, and clamp this nut. Okay. Uh, this is 3D printed. All this stuff here that I'm going to show you is 3D printed. Um, so that takes care of that. Some of the fancy billet uh, adapters, brackets that you see out there, puts this nut in a counter bore, and then you need a special socket that slides over this guy, and they're like $80. So that's not a good situation either. And these companies will not sell you the bracket alone, okay? The ones that have the kits, okay? So... Um, so that's what I'm trying to do here is find out the bracketry, maybe a combo bracket on how to mount this guy on here. Okay. Okay. So I designed a bracket. Here's a 3d printed bracket. And this is similar to what you find, uh, for this car. However, some companies will not sell it separately. And this guy here, um, slides over like this and it will adapt a Camaro master okay so let me go ahead and spin these nuts on okay so that bracket is on there uh, i am utilizing the stock hole for the push rod um, the only thing i had to do is drill out the hole a little bit to fit this tick uh, rod end bearing here uh, but anyway go ahead and screw this guy on i'll show you how this fits All right, so that fits on there. Now this is 3D printed, you know, just for mock-up. I will have these laser cut and CNC bent uh, when it's ready to go. Okay, so with this guy here, uh, you can see I have this uh, working. Okay, now this thing's flexing like crazy because it's, you know, 3D printed, but it's going to be thick uh, sheet metal. It'll be fine. But anyway, I got this push rod straight as an arrow uh, in all directions, this way and, and up and down. So it's straight and it's, the clutch uh, pedal goes down about five inches or so. Let me measure that really quick. Yeah, so it goes down about five inches, okay, for a one inch stroke up here, okay? Now, I'm not gonna need a full stroke. This will probably, since it's a larger bore, it's gonna disengage the clutch earlier. So what I'm gonna have to do is build a stop here, off of here, with a, with a screw to limit the travel for adjustment, okay? So this is gonna be a pretty short pedal throw, I imagine. It's probably only gonna be like four inches or so. But anyway, so that takes care of that. This guy pretty much has to live here because this push rod has to go through that hole in the firewall, which has the opening where the factory uh, Z-bar push rod thingy goes, okay? This will work with a manual master, okay? No issues there, okay? You can put your nuts on here, plenty of room, um, and so forth. Now on my 70, my distribution block is down at the frame rail. I know like in 71, 72, they put it up here, so that may be a clearance issue. But you can see in this application, uh, it works just fine, okay? Here's just another shot of the clutch operation. I mean, that rod is perfect. It's, it's aligned perfectly in all directions, so there should be no side load on the inner walls of the master. Um, I think this... this uh, is going to work out great. All right, now let's let's talk about this Hydra Boost bracket and uh, how I think this should work, which will be uh, pretty nice. Okay, we're going to have a bracket that goes on the firewall. So I have two here. One's at zero degrees and one's at seven degrees tilt. Okay, and I'll kind of explain 
that in, in a second here, okay? We'll just start with a zero for now, okay? So how this will work, uh, first of all, this will be a flat plate on here, okay? And I just wanna show you how this goes on. So what's nice is you can get this, you can buy this crow foot for 12 bucks and uh, it'll bolt on here. Now this, this is uh, pretty thin at this point. It's just for mock-up, uh, probably make it out of thicker material. Let me just show you how this works here. Okay, so we have a flat plate and there's a little notch in here f to key it. Okay, there's a little groove here and here on both sides. And that's basically so you can uh, orient this thing properly. Okay. Okay, so that goes on there. And also I made this bracket symmetric so you can flip the unit 180 degrees if you want okay and I'll show you that in a second okay so let me just put this nut on okay so that this solves one issue no expensive tool to get this nut on here okay this is your firewall bracket and basically it's gonna go on like this okay so there's two pieces, all right? Now, uh, this guy's gonna have studs coming off here just to ease the assembly, okay? Um, but for purposes of what we're doing here, just a quick mock-up, um, that's that, okay? So this guy can get mounted like this or like that, depending on what you want. Uh, this here towards the left fender is more ideal because this guy may interfere with people running tall valve covers and whatnot okay and it cleans up the hoses a little bit okay so uh one other thing i want to mention is for purposes of this video is i'm going to sandwich these plates right on top of each other okay but if, if you can see where i'm going with this is from here down this flange that holds the t56 master i can build on this bracket so then you can have one bracket that fits your hydro booster and your T56 master cylinder. But for purposes of this, let's just sandwich this. I mean, doesn't matter at this point. Okay, so you put your, your nuts on. Uh, one other thing I wanna mention is since I'm offsetting the booster, the hydro boost from the firewall, no modifications will be needed to the firewall. Okay, because that body is larger than the firewall hole and you may need to cut it out if you wanted to do it flush okay so I don't want to modify anything I don't want to cut these studs off and so forth so that's that okay so now this is the zero degree bracket and I want to show you that um, the push rod lines up great however I'm running into some tight areas with this guy and we'll just discuss that and of course we can go with uh, a, a tilt tilted bracket okay so this part will have studs so that way you don't have to do this mess um, but anyway this is 3d printed so I need a strap here because otherwise you know it'll break all right I just need help supporting this because you know it's not the lightest thing in the world and 3d print is just for mock-up okay so let me let me spin these bolts on okay one other thing that I need to solve is the ceiling of this hole and there's several dust boots that I could probably find and, you know, make that work. So that's not a big deal. Okay, and these brackets are all just, they need to be refined. But for, for now, uh, that's that. Okay, so now I have my hydro booster, right? And T56 master all mocked up. Okay, and then your master would go on here. Okay. And this guy's getting really heavy here. <laughs> so anyway, that's that, okay? And this offset here, I can modify. It doesn't need to be out this far. I can move it in. Um, again, those are all just tweaks, all right? But let's go ahead and come over here. I wanna show you how, how uh, tight this is. Okay, so I have this uh, mocked up with a zero degree bracket and you can see that it's getting tight in here, okay? Now, I do have a tilted bracket of seven degrees, and I can also go any degree I want to get the proper clearance here because we do have to plug in a hose here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order some fittings and uh, play around with what clearance I need. But this guy here is pretty much set in stone. This guy, 
I can tilt a little more or whatnot and it should be fine. Now I know they make banjo style uh, fittings. So the banjo is probably the lowest profile here and then you can angle it, rotate it uh, to put whatever AN fitting you want on here. Okay, so there's one, here's the other. So I think I think I can make this work, no problems there. Obviously if I flip this 180, which you can totally do, uh, the clearance is better. Uh, it's actually really good and um, the uh, lines would be on top. So let me flip it just so you can see. Um, but that's uh, pretty good right there. Yeah, let me flip it really quick for you. Okay, here it is flipped to 180 and you can see there's zero clearance issues uh, with the master. So I, I can totally run it this way, um, but I think I'd want to flip it 180 just so it can accommodate all the applications out there. Um, and if I get that, that would be pretty cool. Okay, here it is viewed from the top. Uh, this isn't too attractive. What I can probably do is uh, bring a flange over here and close this all off. Um, that's a possibility. This isn't the sexiest bracket in the world, but it works and it's easy and it'll be, uh, you know, affordable because, you know, billet is more expensive than sheet metal. Okay. Um, but this definitely solves a lot of problems with the socket and then, you know, this whole combo bracket. Okay. So that's, that looks pretty cool. Okay. It's hard to see, um, but generally how these uh, hydro boosters are set up they still hook up to the manual hole at the top not the power hole that's down here um, but what I want to point out here is that it's a pretty much straight shot uh, in here so the alignment is good um, we can go a few degrees off of that to gain more clearance and whatnot um, but anyway man it's raining hard out there uh, yeah that looks pretty good down here all right, so here I swapped out the, the zero degree bracket for the seven degree bracket. So you can see that the booster is angled up and there are uh, companies out there that, that do this and the push rod uh, doesn't line up as good. Um, you can see that there'll be a slight angle uh, there. It's not bad, I think it's still within range, but um, this is just to get a little more clearance. So let's go to the, over, the other side and you can see uh, what I'm talking about. Okay, so no change other than going from the zero to seven degree uh, bracket and you can see that now we have a lot more clearance here. Okay, so I will order some fittings and play around with that and see what works best. But in any case, uh, those are certainly two options. Zero degree, seven degrees. Um, I think this can be misaligned more so than this. Uh, the, the, where the rod comes out, there's almost no, you need to have this thing pretty damn straight. Uh, this guy here, it seems like uh, you can be a little bit out of alignment. Obviously it's best to have it super straight, but um, given the, the, there's like a, a ball and socket joint at the back versus this, it'll interfere with the washer. So anyway, that's that. Okay guys, well that's it for this video. You can see that I just have this all mocked up and I just need to refine it a little bit and figure out what I wanna do here. Um, I'm gonna post this on some forums uh, and get some input from other people who are in this boat that need to run a master and a hydro boost. Maybe bracketry already exists for this. I don't know, but if it doesn't, uh, you know, maybe when I make mine, I can make some extra and if you need one, well, I can sell it to you, right? So uh, that's all I'm after with this. I want to I wanna figure out this solution here because I have not been able to find this style of bracketry, okay? So um, another thing I might do is um, for this guy here, for this, this guy alone, uh, maybe I'll get a power booster and see what the clearance is here. Um, because maybe some guys do want to run vacuum brakes, but um, in any case, let me know what you think in the comments below, uh, if there's anything I've overlooked or uh, anything like that, but I think uh, I'm on the right path with this, all right?